Hey there, tech enthusiasts and curious minds. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we've got a hot topic that's sending shockwaves through the tech world. The EU's Digital Services Act, a game changer that's redefining the way tech companies operate in Europe. Let's dive in. Remember the days when the digital landscape was like the Wild West with tech giants calling the shots? Well, hold on to your keyboards because those days are about to change. The EU Digital Services Act, or DSA for short, is here to level the playing field and bring some much-needed order to the chaos. So, what's this DSA all about? Imagine a comprehensive rulebook for digital services, online platforms, and tech companies operating within the European Union. It's like putting a spotlight on transparency, accountability, and user rights, making sure everyone's playing by the same rules. No more sneaky maneuvers in the shadows. Both legislative acts were adopted by the Council and the European Parliament in 2022. The Digital Markets Act, DMA, affects gatekeeper platforms like Google, Amazon, and Meta, and covers the need for user consent before processing personal data for targeted advertising. It is interesting that most of the companies that are affected by the Digital Markets Act and the Digital Services Act are based in the United States of America. Now, let's talk about the big stick fines and penalties. Regulatory authorities aren't messing around. If platforms don't play nice and comply with the DSA, they could be hit with hefty fines. It's like a digital game of follow the rules or face the consequences. Suppose you believe the sanctions for GDPR violations are stringent, up to 4% of global annual turnover. In that case, you will be surprised by the sanctions for Digital Services Act violations up to 6% of global annual turnover and the sanctions for Digital Markets Act violations up to 10% of global annual turnover or up to 20% in case of repeat offense. The European Commission designated 17 very large online platforms, VLOPs, and two very large online search engines, VLOSAs, that reach at least 45 million monthly active users. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell because you won't want to miss any of the eye-opening content we're bringing your way. Very large online platforms, Alibaba AliExp, Google Maps Rest, Amazon Store, Apple App Store, Booking.com Facebook, Google Play, Google Shopping, Instagram, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Snapchat, TikTok, Twitter, Wikipedia, YouTube, Zalando, Bing, and Google Search. One of the key aspects of the DSA is platform responsibilities. Think about your favorite social media platforms, online marketplaces, and content sharing sites. The DSA sets clear guidelines on content moderation and the removal of illegal content. Platforms now have a bigger role in safeguarding online spaces, giving users a safer digital experience. Transparency is the name of the game. The DSA requires platforms to be crystal clear about their content moderation practices. Users, like you and me, get more insight into how our content is treated and why certain things may vanish into the digital abyss. It's like peeling back the curtain on Oz to see the wizard in action. Have you ever wanted more control over what you see online? Well, the DSA introduces the Notice and Action Mechanism, giving users the power to report and request the removal of illegal content. Platforms have to listen up and act promptly. It's like having a direct line to the content police, calling all non-EU tech companies. If you're offering services to EU residents, you might need an EU representative. This point person ensures that you're following the DSA's rules, keeping everyone in check and the tech world a little more connected. Of course, every coin has two sides. While the DSA aims to bring accountability, there's a debate about how it might impact innovation and competition. Striking the right balance between rules and fostering a vibrant tech ecosystem is like walking on a tightrope in the digital circus. So there you have it, tech aficionados. The EU's Digital Services Act is shaking things up in the digital world, making tech companies rethink their strategies and paving the way for a more accountable and user-friendly online experience. What are your thoughts on this digital revolution? Drop them in the comments below, and let's keep this conversation going. Don't forget to like this video, share it with your fellow tech enthusiasts, and subscribe for more mind-blowing updates. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring the digital frontier.